Assalamu alaikum dear students Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim will come back in lecture 34 In this lecture basically we are also covering in another simple example that is related with the truss analysis So this this example is also selected from the same chapter that is chapter 10 of our Hebler book okay uh, structure analysis of which is structure analysis at addition clear so this is the example okay this is this example is just similar to uh, the first example clear and uh, inshallah i will try to cover another example in this lecture as well so you know this example basically you can see that we have uh, in x direction we have grid two grids okay one and two while in z direction we have three grids that is you know z1 z2 and z3 so let's see how we will analyze units are kilonewton and uh, kilonewton pounds clear so uh, we will use their grid only template clear so here you can just only select you have in x direction you have two grid lines in y direction you don't need in z direction basically you have three grid lines clear and the grid lines grid lines x1 and x2 you have a distance of four meter while in y we don't need while in z direction basically the distance between uh, z1 and z2 are uh, three meter clear you can check it three meter clear and just ok so remove this window and make sure you will be in xz plane make sure your unit will be color newton meter and just start modeling the uh, uh, truss okay click there then click there click there click there click here and click here and click here so this is your required uh, model of truss select this one and this one these are basically hinge supports okay and this one is a ruler support okay now you need to rotate the joints okay this is also by positive in clockwise direction that is positive with 90 degree and you have to apply a load there that is a, this is a joint load which has an amount of I think so that is 10 kilonewton so make sure this is zero okay and apply a load in the global z direction but with a negative sign clear this is a load which is applied to the joint okay let see check it 10 kilonewton now we done the job just we need to analyze the truss model do not run run now save the project that is example number 45 okay save it and see the result so these are the result we just need to determine that that this member basically this is member uh, this is member AC so here it say that determine the force in member AC that what will be the amount of the force and what will be the nature of the force in AC member okay so let's see this is minus 7.64 this means this member in compression and amount 7.64 kilonewton compression clear we can check the results 7.92 or 7.91 that is compression so we done the job the result is correct and now let us we sell I, s I choose a new example uh, and try to solve them okay so the next example inshallah I will cover from the same chapter that is chapter 10 and example number 10 29 clear so this is the example you see just on the screen and this is also a simple example clear in x direction we have uh, in x direction we have also three grid lines okay grid 1 grid 2 grid 3 
so in x direction we have three grid lines and the spacing of these grids is basically 2 and 2 while in z direction we have only two axes that is z1 and z2 and the spacing between z1 and z2 is 2 meter ok and the loading are applied to the joints you can see this is ruler and this is hinge let's see how we will model it and uh, trying to see the results clear the units are kilo newton and meter clear so select a new template grid only will be used ok here in x direction we have three grid lines while in y direction we don't need while in z direction basically we have two grid lines in x direction basically we have a spacing of 2 meter and x direction we don't need while in z direction we have a spacing of uh, I think so that is 3 meter 2 meter sorry that is 2 meter ok now remove this one and make sure you will be in xz plane and you, your unit will be kilo newton and meter clad now this is the truss this is the basically the 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 grids okay now we need to uh, develop the the truss within these grids clear so you can see that this line is basically okay and uh, okay and uh, yes so let's see we we model the truss from there you can pick this point as well okay but if you if you if you uh, click this point then there will be no node no node will be uh, created and if you don't produce any node there so then if you are modeling this member you 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 will not be able to model this member then okay because I let I see I, uh, I want to uh, show you okay if I click there and then then I need to click there although the grid line is is basically is uh, is uh, is there when there is no grid line basically you can't able to for example if you are clicking on this line there will be no node so you ne you need to basically you uh, you need to basically uh, uh, click on each node okay don't use that approach that you will basically click there and then click there click you need to uh, use okay each grid line like in this way click. this will be easy for you by developing such other members click so then click there okay and then you need to click there then there and finish it okay so the truss uh, is now developed we need to assign a joint which is hinge okay is a hinge support and now we need to uh, there we need basically a ruler support is a ruler support and uh, now we need to assign the loads clear 10 20 and 15 kilonewton there we need uh, there we need make sure this is zero okay modify okay and in z direction basically with a negative sign we need 10 kilo newton at this we need joint load that is uh, minus 20 kilo newton add to existing and at this joint we basically need negative 15 kilo newton in global direction clear 
so the joints are assigned members are modeled loads are assigned now we need to analyze the structure model do not run save the project this is i think so example number 46 clear save it and see the results so these are the results you can confirm it okay you have for example if i if i want to see that whether AV and tension or compression so AV you can see this is six point so basically you see that AV in tension so let's see where we have AV member this member so this is 5.66 okay we have this is 6.04 AB member okay this is in tension basically and AB member AB member is in tension and we have AB member in tension 5.66 you can say round about this is 6 clear now if we check this member this inclined member so 13.11 let's see this is bc member bc member this is cb this is 14.1 kN or you can say 13. Point, we have 13.11 this is basically so it is also close okay this our our results are basically close there this is the picture you know 14 point no this is not the result basically they are convert they are divided basically no this these are the results clear let's we check it that the member CD CD this one let's see this one minus 9.32 so which is which is close to 10 clear and compression so uh, the error this is a very minute error and this error basically you know this this joint is basically in mm, in this direction okay in vertical direction but this one is in uh, horizontal if I if I try to make it horizontal with the, uh, you can say align with the member so I think these the, the correction will be uh, these, these values will be correct okay let's see unlock the model okay and now select the join assign join local axis and rotate the structure clockwise by an amount of 90 degree so let's see now we will analyze again okay So this time is also those results. So this means that you know uh, it has not any great uh, change uh, in results basically. So you know we are close. We are almost close. This is not a great difference. Thirteen point one one or fourteen. Okay. So I'm done here, uh, and uh, now I choose. And another example, okay, which can be simple and uh, which will not so much tricky. Clear? So, let's see. We we try to develop, or we can say we model this kind of truss, and let's see mm, to check the results whether the results are okay or not. Here I am using basically then uh, the truss two D truss model. Okay, so let us try and uh, develop this member okay the units are in kilo newton meter and we have basically you know you must understand that uh, when we are using basically a 2d truss model okay units should be okay yes we can save it and we select this 2d truss model okay 
so when we are using this truly trust model we have number of divisions then division length and then height of that division so what are divisions you know basically divisions are if you have a truss for example uh, if this is a hinge support and this is a ruler support and you have a truss in this shape clear so sometime we have truss in this shape clear so basically this is one division and this is basically another division so the the span between two conjunctive joints along this member is basically known as division and the length of this division is basically called length of division so if we compare this with this our present example so you can see that we have this and this one clear so we have this one one division and then we have another division and the span is 4 4 meter so we have two division and the height you can see there this is this this total height is basically known as the height okay this is the height uh, basically this height is basically denoted that that height clear so we have number of division 2 and the division length is 4 and we we have a height of four. total height 3 plus 4 that is 7 meter clear so we have 7 meter height two number of division and division length is 4 meter so now we need to develop uh, a truss okay that kind of truss in this structure but we have to edit to this truss okay because you can see that that we have you know we have z1 z2 and z3 so in z direction basically we have three grid lines you can say we have two heights we first of all we insert a total height now we will divide that height into 4 and 3 by using grid spacing clear so there we have grid spacing we don't need to change these we need to basically uh change these values we have to develop z3 clear and uh, you see that there there we need basically 3 meter that is z1 to z2 and there we need basically 4 meter and there we need 0 clear okay you can see between z1 and z2 between z1 and z2 we have 3 meter and then z2 and z4 z3 we have 4 meter clear so okay and then okay now this this grid line basically we need this grid line clear now we can model the truss we choose this one and now we need to plug there then control z we need to plug there then this one and then this one and then this one and this one escape then choose this one plug there and there okay now we need to delete the extra members we don't need these members we don't need these members okay delete it and uh, i think we are done here clear so basically this is the this is the way that how we will model this kind of truss clear by using 2d truss model now we 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 assign the load clear the load is assigned to basically this joint so we uh, we select joint so we need to assign joint load make sure this is zero okay modify okay and now we need to apply a load of minus 10 kilonewton 
okay check units direction and then okay I think so this this is 9 clear sorry for wrong value so replace now you need to replace that load with 9 we don't need 10 we need 9 clear so now that 10 is deleted and 9 is assigned clear so we done that now we analyze the structure model do not run run now save the project I think so this is example number 40 this is example number 47 okay save it and see the result so these are the results let we check some members this is 4.19 let's see whether we have only to see that the amount of CD member okay that what will be the amount of force in member CD this one clear so there we have 4.63 that is in tension so let's see 4.6 so there we need 100% accurate results and that is in tension so this is the way that how we will analyze uh, the simple trusses basically and uh, inshallah in next lecture I will select some complicated trusses which will be more tricky and you see that how we will model them and analyze them so if you have any question suggestions comments please share those com comments on my contacts on my channel watch the video and enjoy thank you